All right, what is going on guys? City of Top Tweaks here, and today I'm bringing you a new video, and this is on my top five handy and quick access tweaks. Now guys, I'm gonna be showing you five tweaks that allow you to get around your device quicker and access things more easily. So starting off this video, guys, I'm gonna be showing you something called New Tab Keyboard. Now I've already reviewed this in a previous video for iOS 7, but I thought I'd show you guys it again uh, because we've now just uh, updated to iOS 8. So anyway, guys, all it does is you see there, as I open up a new tab, it straight away put the keyboard up on the screen to save you having to tap onto the search bar. Uh, so it just saves you a couple of seconds there, guys. Uh, so the next week I'm going to be showing you is called Slide to Kill 8 Lite. Now this is the light version, as, as you can hear in the title. Uh, but all it simply allows you to do is head onto your control switcher here. Uh, not control switcher, sorry, the switcher here. Swipe down on the home screen, like so. And then there you go, all the applications are closed. Now one thing that you did see there, I had to be above the home screen. So make sure you're directly above it and then do it, otherwise this will not necessarily work. But anyways guys, the third one I'm going to be showing you is called Lock Speed. Now um, this was sent to me uh, free by an author, uh, the author of this tweak to review it. And um, actually it's a really, really handy tweak. So all you need to do on your lock screen is slide the other way that you'd normally unlock it and you can place some of your favorite contacts uh, here so I can contact anyone uh, that I've put here uh, nice and quickly without me having to go to my phone book. Uh, the only annoying thing is it does only put the first letter. Um, I haven't actually tried to do two of the same letter but if it does do say there's two M's on the screen I'm not necessarily going to know which person to call and which person it's going to start calling. So that could be the only problem you might encounter uh, with this tweak. But as you can see, there are a few options. Well, all there really is is just a kill switch. Sorry. Um, but yeah, uh, all you have to do for this is go into your phone book and enable your favorites, and they will be shown there. But anyways, guys, the fourth week is called double check. Now, all this does is allow you to double check um, your texts before you send them so you don't send them to the wrong person. This is by the same author as well uh, that made lock speed. Anyways, guys, if I don't want to text uh, Kai, which is myself, so I don't want to text them. Uh, you have a little reminder here at the bottom which says I message to Kai. So it's a nice little reminder just to remind you who you're actually texting. Because everyone's had that one moment when they text the complete wrong person, something they really don't want them to find out, for example, and you're just like, oh crap. Uh, so yeah, you don't want to be in that situation, guys. This is a really handy tweak to try and help you not get into those situations. But anyways, guys, the fifth and final tweak I'm going to be showing you is called Swipe Selection. Now, this is a really, really handy tweak, probably, probably one of my favorite all-time tweaks. Uh, I use this all the time on iOS 7, and I've now just installed it for iOS 8. Now, all it simply allows you to do is if I type something in here, guys, just a load of random letters, and now you don't have to go like this anymore uh, to scroll back. All you simply need to do is swipe your finger along the keyboard, and there you go, you can scroll uh, to wherever you like. So it's a lot quicker, uh, so if you make a spelling mistake, it's a lot quicker just to swipe back along the keyboard uh, to get to it. So if I want to get rid of the O, swipe back like so and get rid of it. So guys, this has been uh, my top five handy and quick access tweaks for iOS 8. If you did enjoy this video, remember to leave a like, comment, let's try and hit 10 likes on this video, guys. That'd be absolutely awesome. But I'll see you in the next video, guys.